Well, folks, it feels like high school football eve, even though we're still a week out from Sports Zone Football Friday. Tonight, teams across mid Missouri hit the gridiron for Jamborees. This night really marks the unofficial start to the high school football season, as this was team's last chance to get a scrimmage in before kickoff. We had three mid Missouri powerhouses in Wardsville tonight. This was a treat. Blair Oaks, Helias, and Rockbridge all meeting up in Jamboree action at the Falcon Athletic Complex. Love the lively crowd. First matchup is the Blair Oaks offense in the Helias. Defense Tyler Bax picking up right where he left off, folks. Rumbling down the sideline. Is he going to be stopped? He finally would be pulled out of bounds, but the Falcons are cooking. Just a moment later, Bax this time rolling out. He sees his man. He sees what he wants, and he's going to fire a dart to Jackson Engelbrecht. First touchdown of the year for Blair Oaks at the Falcon Athletic Complex. What a touchdown it was. Nicely done, sir. Saders turn with the football now, though. Austin Weaver. Going to hit Sam Lopez over the top here, but this Falcon defense looked dominant. Wyatt Libert came in like a freight train, knocked that ball loose. Good start for Ted LePage's defense and offense, both sides of the ball. Matt Perkins, Rockbridge team taking the field now, though. Brady Davidson looking for a hot start. He's looking deep here, but the coverage from Logan Hillman was huge. No fly zone for the Bruins with that Sater secondary. Nice start for Coach Perkins' defense, at least, though. Ben Bamer with a nice tackle for loss here. But the Helias offense, as they always do under head coach Chris Henches, did get going. Check out this. Weaver going to pitch to Ben Lanigan, who is going to punch his way into the barn. Great showing from all those teams out there in Wardsville tonight. Cool moment before Moberly's Jamboree. New Hallsville head coach Paul Stevens reuniting with his former team, Boonville, won a 16 at Spartan Stadium tonight. The Pirates made their noise the run game. Jet sweep from Cooper Pfeiffer. He takes it into the end zone. Untouched, rumbling down the field. Pfeiffer was not the only Pirate to find the land of six on the ground tonight, though. Check out Evan Bishop. Handed it off to Alex McDonald, and he is going to power in for the score. Shout out to his guys on the line, helping him out there. Boonville's rushing attack. Turned some heads. So did Centralia's secondary, guys. Bishop looking for his man in the end zone, but Ethan Ross had other plans, snagging an interception for the Panthers. Different opponent, same result for Centralia. This time it's Elliot McCoy. Deep downfield, leaping for the pick. Watch out for that Panther defense this year, guys. They also wanted to say hi to the camera. Hello there. Another takeaway from tonight's action. Watch out for Braden Matheny to Isaac Stinson. That connection going to work. Check out the catch on the sideline. Big gain for H-Town. Then Hallsville going to cash it in. Gabriel Jenkins takes the sweep, sheds some tackles on his way into the end zone. Don't worry, we didn't forget about the host school here. Moberly's offense looked like a well-oiled machine tonight. Kayvon Tiger taking some defenders along for the ride. Get off that man. Big gain for him. And Jackson Engel going to find the end zone through the air. Rolls out. Finds Kyler fanning wide open for the touchdown. Nicely done. Let's get out to the California Jamboree. Camdenton on offense first. Lakers taking their time surveying the field here and scores a touchdown with a missile to the back of the end zone. Touchdown Lakers will get their welcome to the CMAC conference this season. Tolton getting a turn on offense now. Dominic Abadi puts it right on the money, hitting Lucas Wheatholder in stride. He turns on the afterburners and is into the barn. Blazers have themselves a touchdown. That's what head coach Michael Edney likes to see. Hickman getting their shot under first-year head coach Justin Conyers. What a pass from Braden Bursey to Brock Camp on the sideline. A little later, Bursey going to keep it himself this time, weaving his way up the middle. Going to get drugged down, but way to extend to play here. He can run it and throw it, guys. Justin Conyers told me he wanted to get Brock Camp more involved. Look at this, a bomb to the big man, Bobby Buckets. He's knocking men down. Makes you excited to see him this season. Look at him go. Nicely done. Love seeing all the action out there tonight, guys.